for the datums, I'm going to click on datum, I'm going to pick on, so if I wanted this bottom surface here to be a datum, I just click on the surface and say OK. And I can grab that little green dot, pull it over. Remember on datums, where you put it matters, that is different. you put them in the right spots like I have them on the drawing. <clears throat> also then get your control frames, same thing. Pick the edge, right click, continue, go here and you pick the symbol. So that bottom one would be probably flat within one. So here I actually want to just call this one the datum. And then I want the datum A below it. So I go to datum, just pick on there, right click, continue, OK. So that's how I get the datum below the, the control frame. So that way when I move that, that'll go with it. For the hole, and I'll go to feature control frame. I'll just pick here, right click, continue, position, final three, relative to data A. So you can also do that was going to be perpendicular. I could also do it like that to add the identifier. Just in that feature full frame, I can add the identifier right here, and it'll put it below it also. So either doing it all in one or doing them separately is both is acceptable. So now I can go back to this one and so the A and B. So does anyone know what else I need to do when I'm using GDT? I know we haven't talked about it yet in this class, or at all in this class. <coughs> you remember from 44, or anyone else, anyone who did 5 yet? Have we talked about that? Robert? <coughs> what do we have to do if we're using position? Look at your projects. When I use that one, what happens to some of those other dimensions? ones have something different on them? Any of those look weird?
down in our pedal block, we've got some tolerances here. The box means that those tolerances don't apply anymore. That this is a perfect dimension with no tolerance. Because now the tolerance is coming from the GD and T. So it's called a basic dimension. So for that, you click on the dimension, <coughs> go to uh, edit tolerance basic. Right click, edit tolerance basic. You get the box. Then back on here, I need a diameter symbol, so I just go in front of it, hit the diameter symbol, go after it, hit the M. There's one of them that I note, so if you want to note, put your note in, and it goes below it. Just like this one right here. Okay. So questions on adding the GDT? So basic dimension, feature control frame. Does the order of the letters matter? No, I guess not. <laughs> yes, it matters a lot. So make sure you get the letters in the right order. So that's how you add the GMT. Okay? Questions? I'll probably ask them later. Well, the video will be up later. All right. So if you really want to, just want to be able to go in your drawing. Feature control frame and datums. Actually, they're not on that first list here. So you need to hit the down arrow once and then you can get to them. Down arrow. So you see that? Just hit the down arrow, feature control frame, datum. So that's where you put them in. Okay? It's better to do them all at once instead of